What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com and we all know that when someone takes their shirt off, the first thing that you notice are their chest and their abs. It's probably two of the most showy muscle groups that there are. So making sure that you're training them and training them correctly is super important. So today I have an awesome chest and lower ab workout for you. All right, so like I said, in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a chest and lower ab workout. So we're just gonna be focusing on ab exercises where you bring your lower body up rather than your upper body down. This just helps me, I feel, hit my lower portion a little bit better. But what we're gonna be doing are four different chest exercises and three different ab exercises. Now, before you think that that's a super long workout, we're gonna be doing two different supersets in there. So we're gonna be fitting four exercises basically into two exercises kind of. And supersets are just one of my go-tos to make a lot of volume fit into a short amount of time. So I'd recommend throwing supersets into most of your workouts as long as you're going light because we are gonna be starting a little bit lighter. We're gonna be going with the pyramid style rep range. So we're gonna be starting the first set with 12 reps. The second set's gonna be 10, the third's gonna be eight, and the fourth is going to be six. So we're going to be bumping up weight a little bit each time to make sure that you're failing around that 12, 10, eight, six rep range, but also making sure that you have proper form. And I get a lot of questions on the channel, guys, about just burning body fat and building muscle. This workout's gonna be great for hitting your chest and your abs, but if you're looking to get your abs to actually show, you gotta focus on getting rid of your overall body fat. And so if you want help with that, we do have a free body type quiz that tells you the three most important things that you need to do to get in shape based on whatever your specific goals are. So it's great if you're trying to burn fat, lose weight, build muscle, you basically just answer six questions, they're super simple, and it spits out this video for you. So you can check that out, I'll put a link to it down in the description below, but let's get into this workout. All right, so starting off this workout, I know I was on the flat bench, but we're actually starting on incline barbell bench press. Like I said, we're gonna be going four sets. We're gonna be starting the first set with 12 reps, resting for one and a half minutes, then going 10 reps, resting for one and a half minutes, going eight reps, resting for one and a half minutes, and going six reps while bumping the weight up just a little bit each time. So I'm not going to sit here and take you through all four sets with heavier weight each time and make you sit through a rest. I'm just gonna show you the correct form and trust that you do it right. So getting back into this bench, you wanna make sure that you're first off in a strong position. Before I even grab this bar, I put my hands up in the air and I make sure that my shoulders are rolled back, my heels are flat on the ground because this is where I'm gonna get all my power. From there, I'm going to put my hand on the bar, make sure that it's just outside of shoulder width apart. And then I'm going to lift this weight up. And then from there, now I'm gonna get into a nice strong position again. Make sure that I feel strong under this bar. Shoulders are rolled back, chest is stuck out, and this is hanging over my nipple line. I don't want this up above my face. So from there, I'm going to drop this weight down. My elbows are going down at about a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna go past 90 degrees with my elbows. I'm not going to bounce it off my chest, and I'm going to squeeze up to the top. I'm going nice and controlled with my form. Breathing while you do this. And then after, let's say this is the 12th rep right here, squeeze up, squeeze through your pecs, rack the weight, rest for a minute and a half. Then let's say that that was the perfect amount of weight for 12 reps. Now I'm gonna add probably 10 pounds on each side, and I'm gonna go for 10 reps. Then I'm gonna throw, change out that 10 for 25s, and I'm gonna go for eight reps, and then I'm gonna try to maybe go for two plates for six reps. So you're trying to bump weight up a little bit so that you fail around whatever your new rep range is while keeping that one and a half minute rest. So that's gonna be exercise number one. Now let's go move into exercise number two. Second exercise is flat dumbbell bench press. So we're following the same reps and sets and we're gonna be going pyramid style. So got my weight in front of me. And a lot of times I see people when they have these dumbbells, they like to curl them up. If it's light, sure, but if it's not, just pick it up in the strongest position possible. I like to basically deadlift my weight up. That way I'm using as little energy as possible rather than trying to use all my force to curl this weight up, you know? So, and also lifting with your legs, not lifting with your back. So lifting with your legs, get this weight up. From there, I'm kicking this weight back. 
into a nice strong position. So heels flat on the ground, shoulders rolled back, chest up in the air. From there, I'm going to drop my elbows down at a about a 45 degree angle. So I'm not, I don't have them flared out like this. I'm going down like that. So chest out, shoulders rolled back, bring them down just to about your nipple level. Go past 90 degrees with your elbows and then squeeze up through your chest. Dropping it back down, squeeze up through your chest. Nice, slow, and controlled. Do not bounce this weight off your chest. And then after you get 12 of those, you're gonna drop this weight. Rest for a minute and a half. Repeat that three more times for 10, eight, and six. So basically I had 70s right there. I'll go to 75s or 80s, and then I'll go to 85s or 90s, and I'll work my way up so that every single set I'm failing around that rep range that I'm going for. So that's exercise number two. Now let's get into the first superset. For this superset, basically superset is just two exercises back to back, no rest in between. So we're gonna be doing uh, cable flies, high, to low, so focusing on that lower chest. So we started with upper, then we moved to middle. Now we're gonna be hitting a little bit lower with flies. And from there, we're gonna be doing hanging knee raises. What you're gonna do is basically get both of these cables and you want the cable to be like above your head. That way when you are grabbing this, your hands are right about eye level. From there, you're gonna bend over a little bit. So they're gonna be higher than eye level and then you're going to really focus on driving your elbows down towards the ground and bringing your elbows together. So don't bend your arms and do anything like this. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see made with cable flies. You want your arms pretty straight and you wanna bring your elbows together. So this should look like this. Get into a nice strong position from there. This is your starting spot. I'm gonna bring my arms down and bring my elbows together as much as possible. So I'm not like this, I am like this. So nice, slow, controlled, really squeezing through your chest muscles, driving that those handles down towards the ground and squeezing at the bottom, feeling the stretch at the top. So you're gonna go 12 reps right there. After you get 12 reps, you're gonna immediately, no rest in between, jump up to this and you're basically just going to raise your knees up and drop them back down. Raise your knees up, drop them back down. So you're gonna go 12 reps here. We're not doing this, none of this. Keep yourself controlled. Nice and slow with your tempo. For this, we're actually gonna change it up a little bit. So we're still gonna be going for the 12, 10, 8, 6 with the cable flies, but the knee raises, we're gonna keep it at 12 reps and a minute and a half rest in between. So make sure that you're bumping up the weight each time, keeping that good controlled form. If it's too heavy to get 12, 10, eight, six, then drop that weight a little bit, leave your ego at the door. And if you can't get four sets of 12 knee raises, that's fine. Get as many as you can or what you can do, basically like pause reps. And so basically you just, you'll do these. You can't do them anymore. Pause for a sec and then get back into them and try to get to 12. Um, but that's the first superset. Now we're gonna move into the second superset. All right, so for the second superset, we have one more chest exercise and then my favorite lower ab exercise. And then after this, we just have one standalone ab exercise. So we're almost there. So this is just gonna be a basic pec deck. And then we're gonna get down on the ground and we're going to do reverse crunches. And so this is good because reverse crunches don't require any kind of equipment. You can drop down right in front of the pec deck machine. So for the pec deck, let's make sure you're doing it right. Same thing, four sets. We're gonna pyramid down, so 12, 10, eight, six. And then first thing, setting this up, you wanna make sure that your hands are going to be pretty low. I see a lot of people doing pec deck with it super high up. The higher you go, the more shoulder engagement you're going to get, the lower you go, and you can squeeze your elbows together, the more pec engagement you're going to get. So make sure that you're sitting high enough to where this weight is low. That way I'm pressing through my chest. And from there, I also like to make sure that this is so far back that I'm getting a full stretch, but not so far back. I see people putting it all the way back here or even farther than that and they get this and they pull it forward and then they get the other one they pull the other one forward there's no point in doing that just put it 
at a good starting spot where you're gonna get a good stretch, and then now I can start right here. So I'm just going from here to here to get to my starting position. So from there, get a nice strong position, roll your shoulders back, chest out, heels flat on the ground, and I'm going to squeeze my elbows together. So big difference between this, bringing my hands together with bent elbows, and how much more range of motion you get when you bring your elbows together like that. So making sure that you're keeping your elbows pretty straight and bringing them together and squeezing through your pecs. So nice, slow and controlled. I like to squeeze at the top for a second and back down. Breathing and then you're going for 12 reps. So let's say that's 12 right there. I'm gonna drop this weight. So we just finished that. So immediately getting onto the ground and we're gonna do some reverse crunches. So reverse crunches. Really important to make sure that your form is correct. You want your knees just like so, so straight up towards the sky. I like to have my calves touching my hamstrings. From there, hands flat on the ground, head also on the ground, and then from there, I'm going to take my knees, drive them up to my chest, and get my lower back up off the ground. Just like that. So 12 reps right here. And notice that I'm not dropping my knees anywhere past straight towards the ceiling. I'm not going down here, because from here to here, you're just gonna be creating momentum. So starting right there, and one thing that you can do to make all ab exercises harder is breathe out forcefully while you crunch your ab, because when you breathe out forcefully, it automatically engages your abdominal muscles. So. So you're gonna go 12 reps there, and it's the same thing as before. Um, we're going to be going the pyramid style on the pec deck, but then for the reverse crunches, we're gonna stay at 12 reps with a one and a half minute rest in between each superset. So that's the second and final superset. Now let's get into the final ab exercise, which is going to be a nice rotation exercise for those obliques over on the cables. Okay, and then for the absolute final exercise, we have an ab exercise and is it going to be a cable torso rotation. So I know this is a chest and lower ab exercise, but this is for the obliques, which is technically on the lower portion of your abs and just gonna help with obviously that V taper, but also help with low back soreness and just completing that ab look that you want. So for these, what you're gonna do is set this cable up probably just a little bit below shoulder level. And then from there, you're basically just going to grab this and you're not gonna go super heavy on this. Again, we're going for four sets of 12 here with about a minute rest in between. So for here, what we're gonna do is grab this weight and I like to basically grab it with my hand that's closest to it and I like to pull with it rather than, or push with it rather than pulling this way with it. And then I just use my other hand to grab that hand and just make this as strong of a position as possible. So from here, get into a nice strong position. My feet are basically just in line with this cable. And from there, I'm going to focus on driving this handle out and away from my body and then rotating all the way past so that this cable is basically gonna be rubbing up against my shoulder and then all the way back. So trying to get that full range of motion, it's gonna look like this. That's one. All the way, that's two. And I can feel that and my oblique already. That's three. So go nice and controlled, four, and then obviously after you get 12, you're gonna flip it around to the other side and go from there all the way around. And go 12 on this side as well. So make sure that your form is nice and controlled and you're not really move, doing anything with your hips. You want your hips to stay pretty forward and you're just trying to rotate as much with your upper body as possible because that's how you're gonna get that ab engagement. So 12 reps, a one minute rest, four sets, and you are going to be done with today's workout. So I would recommend doing this workout at least once a week, um, if not twice a week, if you're really trying to get your chest to grow and you're trying to get those abs defined, but like I said, if you're trying to get your abs to show, you have to make sure that you don't have any body fat covering them. If you want help with getting rid of that body fat, click the link down below, take my free body type quiz. Let me help you get lean and get in shape. But that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button below and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on future content. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.